Let us pray. Gracious God, in this world of severe testing, we pray for all who are enslaved by the fear of death and disaster. For the many who desperately try to avoid the testing realities of life, surrounding themselves with the false protection of wealth, living careless, carelessly for the moment, attempting to ignore the demands of personal relationship, indifferent to other people's needs, hoping real life will pass them by, leaving them untouched. For those in positions of responsibility, with other people's good or ill at their disposal, those who need to discern the difference between proper ambition and the seeking of power for their own, its own sake, those with high principles and genuine concern for good, tempted to put undue pressure on others to get out their own ide ideals realised, even at the cost of other people's integrity, even at the cost of other people's lives. We pray for communities where integrity is breaking down and hearts and minds are turning away from truth and good, where lust for possession and selfish desire make love, self-discipline and self-sacrifice seem strange. Keep teaching us the truth we have in Jesus, that the way is your will. And our peace lies through the dryness, slowness, complexity and ambiguity of the world as it is. Meeting other people as they are. Being open to their insights. Patient with their resistance and misunderstanding. Gentle with their obstressiveness and humble in the face of their criticism. Support all men and women of integrity who try to stay true to their convictions. Save them from priggishness, self-righteousness and imprisonment in the narrow rigidity that makes them afraid of the risks of love and joy. Give them true liberation of spirit, imaginative, pure, creative, full of surprises, so that they may speak and act with power to open people's eyes, helping them to see with new wonder and excitement. Father, you will not fail us. By whatever hard way you will bring us into your peace, Evil will leave us and goodness will wait on us. Help us to live each day in this confidence. Keep us true. Keep us good. Keep us joyful. With Christ Jesus our Lord. Thank you God for all the encouragement we have received in the Christian life. For the gospel story itself through which your love comes to us in Jesus, for the fellowship of the church and, the, and its mutual support, for every individual who has ever stirred our conscience, roused our enthusiasm, calmed our fear or increased our hope.